Well, everyone, sorry for the long time between video. As most of you know, it's been crazy times here lately for everybody, so. Been busy with everything else going on, but I wanted to sit down and do a video because I've been noticing something. I've been noticing some of my Nantic workers dying, some of my first generations that hatched out August and September of last year. Especially in some of the colonies that I didn't put to sleep. Let's see if I can show you this real quick here. Now you guys are I'm oh, sorry. I'm trying to do this without. See if I can find one with the. I've been noticing a few. Aha, perfect. This will work perfect right here. Now, as you can see, you notice a couple dead workers. That's one of the Nantic workers. The first round of workers are now dying off. The ones they had, their her queen's first set of workers are starting to die off. Now, there's no reason to be afraid. When this happens, this is just they've gotten old, they've served their purpose, and they're dying out. I've noticed this in several of my colonies now. In fact, I think I can show you another one right here. See? That's nanic workers that have died. Now well, that's going to happen, and they will die in bunches too. Not like hundreds of them at a time, but five or ten. It's when you start seeing 20 or 30 that you need to start being worried. But for those of you that have had colonies since... September, October of last year, be prepared. You're going to start losing workers here soon. It's just, it's a natural cycle. They don't live as long as normal workers. They're dying off. And as you can see, there's plenty of new workers to replace them. There's right there in that picture, there's one, two, three, four, five callow workers. And another one just came in on the bottom, that's six. Plus a couple more up on top. But see, this is a healthy colony producing new work, more workers than have died. So don't be alarmed if you see that. If you see a couple dead workers here and there. As long as they got seeds and they got plenty of water, it's just the natural life cycle of the ants. But you can see the size difference between them workers right there. The ones tending to queen eggs and larvae. Well, that's a big worker right there cleaning himself, cleaning herself right there to the just on the left side of the water tower. It's bigger than all the other ones around her, except for that male, except for those workers. But the callow workers are a little smaller. I think it's because they had a, I had to let them run out of food for a couple of days. I think that was the problem because I ran out of food myself. I had to go get some uh, unsalted sunflower seeds, some natural. So I'm out of, um dandelion seeds and I'm almost out of grass seeds then got a spring and I'm starting to see dandelions pop up which will make getting seeds for these guys a lot easier but there's the queen she's doing very well all right I'm gonna pause this and bring in one of my ones in the fortress this is in a mini hearth there we go there's the queen I'll back it out a little. Boom, 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 boom. As you can see in the fortress, there's feed storage is right there. They're making pretty good use of this. This is one of the original fortresses ever made, just so everybody knows. Sorry for the dirt, but it's just it's being used. As you can see, they have larva too. This colony's doing very well. There's a nice little egg pile. So she's still going good. Laying eggs. There's larva. Some pretty solid, healthy workers there. I love these ants. Once you get them started, they're so easy to take care of. There was a callow worker right there. 
once you can get these queens to their second year, they just explode. Just give them seeds, water, occasional bug. You, know, you don't even need to do that. You know, you can throw bugs in there, they'll take them. Especially if you're low on seeds. But seeds will work just fine for these guys. Alright, let me check you one more colony here. Another colony in a mini hearth. As you can see, callow workers, larva, eggs, pupa. You can see the worker, the callow worker, we're trying to climb up the side there with that egg pile and larva. There it is at the bottom. Yeah, they don't like being disturbed, as you can obviously see. But they're all doing good. And like I said, I'm losing my usual callow workers from all the colonies I started. Which happens. Don't be alarmed. Which I'm repeating myself, sorry. Alright, try another one here. And sorry for no little man today. He's not feeling so hot. He's laying down. Hopefully it's not what we think it is. You know, what everybody else is worried about. We think it's just a cold. We've been pretty good about stuff, so. But we're keeping an eye on him just to be sure. There's the queen. She just fell down. Workers are falling down. They don't like being startled. There's an egg pile, lurk workers, larva, pupa. All my colonies are doing good. Well, that's my latest video, everyone. I know my usual long one now, apparently. But any questions, post them down in the comments. If you want the formicariums I use, check out Tar Heel Ants. Um, they also sell pogos to across the 48, lower 48, except for Florida. You need a, a permit in California, but it's a pretty easy process. Florida, not so much. I think... Theirs is basically you can't get them other than workers. But um, check them out. Go buy yourself a colony. And before you know it, you're going to need a big old formicarium like the ones I have. Let me get this to come back here. Eventually you're going to need formicariums like the ones I got back there. Down there. And there. I'm going to need those probably in a year or so. I got three of them ready for my three best colonies. But everybody, like I said, check out Tar Heel Ants. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. If I can get it to shut off, that is, folks.